What's good, everyone? Josh, a.k.a. Slashy Joshy here, bringing you some NFL news out of Washington. My favorite team, if you all didn't know that. Washington football team made a couple uh, good signings here today. I was going to make this video yesterday, actually. I'm glad I didn't because we made one. Um, Washington signed another person this morning, so I can kind of just combine the video and uh, we can go from there. First player is Jonathan Allen. The interior lineman, four-year extension for $72 million with a $30 million signing bonus. Whew, that is a big check. Do not spend that all in one place, Jonathan. Um, a lot of Washington fans love this guy. Uh, him and Deron Payne get compared, I think, too much. They're different players, in my opinion. Jonathan Allen's more of the run stuffer. Deron Payne's kind of a pass rusher. So he, Jonathan Allen doesn't have those sexy stats that everyone likes to see, like the sacks and the QB pressures and all that. Um, he's more of a run stuffer guy. I did check his stats just to see, you know, how productive he has been. He's he's top five in run stuffing across the board. Actually, it's pretty it's pretty insane how under the radar this guy's gone. In my unbiased opinion, <laughs> uh, he's a top five run stuffer in the league. Uh, I know Ron Rivera really likes him. He's a big, big defensive presence on the field and off the field. They love his leadership. So he's going to be around for a while, five years. He's finishing up his rookie contract this year, and then there's four more years after that. So he'll be around for five more years. So Washington fans get used to seeing Jonathan Allen on the D line. Another signing they made, Logan Thomas. Big addition last year. He's a big part of the offense last year. They paid him $24 million for three years. I believe that's an extension as well, so it'll be four years on the team. Could be wrong there, but last season he kind of blew up. He had 72 catches, uh, 670 yards, and six touchdowns last year, which tight end numbers, that's that's actually pretty solid. So uh, I, I, I actually expect him to do better than that this year with Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick was an upgrade at QB. That's how bad Washington's quarterback room was last year. <laughs> Fitzpatrick's actually an upgrade. Uh, I think he's going to run some more deep routes too. Logan Thomas was running a lot of five yard, you know, hitches and you know just in routes, quick slants, that big body kind of across the middle. I think he's going to kind of run the seams a little more this year. They're going to go a little more vertical. So yeah, I think he's definitely going to be a bigger part of the offense and uh, looking for those numbers to go up. Definitely. A low-key tight end in fantasy, too, if you guys are thinking about Logan Thomas as a tight end. Uh, I Top five this year, maybe. Uh, kind of a sleeper, even though he was top five last year. But I see him doing it again. I see him repeating. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about those signings. Uh, Washington fans, are you happy? I know this kind of is a lot of money for Allen. Not so much for Logan. It's only eight mil a year, which is pretty average for a tight end. Uh, but Jonathan Allen for your D tackle, you're paying him about sixteen mil a year. So that might push some people out of the door, like Duran Payne. Uh, I know Washington has a bunch of young players that are going to be wanting some money here soon. So let me know your thoughts on these signings. If you think they're quality signings, or if you think that these players are being overpaid. And also uh, comment your favorite team down below. I'd love to know who everyone likes. So, yeah, that's the video for today. Uh, I'll probably be doing some fantasy. I'm going to do a fantasy draft tonight of 10 people, 10 team fantasy draft. <clears throat> it's kind of late in the year. So, I don't think I'll be able to go through. I might. Let me think about that. I might just do the whole board and kind of do draft for every team or I might do, you know, number three pick for a 10 team, do that whole draft and then number seven pick for that 10 team and do that whole draft. I'll let you guys know. Uh, I love doing mock drafts, so <laughs> it might be the latter one. But yeah, let me know guys let me know what you guys think of the signing. Comment, like, subscribe for more content. Hit that bell button to be notification notified every time I upload. And uh have a great day.